a dramatic and startling anti-obesity campaign. It's going viral right now. It points the finger at parents for their kids' unhealthy eating habits, even when they're not kids anymore. And ABC's Brandy Hitt has our story. Just came in. Heart attack. Overweight and nearly dead, this shocking anti-obesity campaign chronicling a fictional 300-pound man's life in reverse. Imagining each ice cream, soda, fast food binge, and video game marathon all the way back to his childhood. I don't know how deep this is. You have to make a change. The sobering images are exactly what doctors at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta want the public to see. Their 2012 ad resurfacing this week, now going viral. We're hoping parents take away that they have the ability to impact their child's future and their child's health. While some parents are finding the campaign effective, if you see something that is a little bit disturbing, you might remember it when you're at the store. There's also backlash. I still can't believe you give this child fresh eyes. I know. But it's the only thing that will make him stop. One person writing online, the video puts way too much blame on everyone else and takes the blame off the supposed victim. Another adding, neither fat shaming nor scare tactics work. Though this is alarming and it's very hard for parents to hear this, they need to hear it because they need to realize all the things that they're doing wrong, unintentionally, but still wrong. The first step to actually making change is considering change, and that's what we were trying to start with this video. The video's creators say people need to take responsibility for their choices. <laughs> Hope this message will break dangerous habits before they begin. For Good Morning America, Brandy Hitt, ABC News, Los Angeles. So joining us now is ABC News senior medical contributor, Dr. Fur. Dr. Fur. <laughs> I'll go with it. That's also it's in the, in the new, new dictionary. <laughs> yeah, it's when you combine aquifer and doctors. There you go. Yeah. Jen Ashton is here. And uh, tell us your take on the PSA. Where does the responsibility lie, in your opinion? Well, I think it's a little bit like looking into a medical crystal ball. When you're talking about someone living with morbid obesity, this is the outcome that we see in our doctor brains. You know, that train only goes usually in one direction, unfortunately. Now, as a mom, <laughs> There's more than enough guilt to go around. We all know that. And we don't need one more reason. But I do think it's a reminder that there are things under our control for at least some amount of time. And that's what we should try to control. Do you think it's a good way to get the message out, though, an effective way to get the message out? Or is this fat shaming, as some people have said? Well, you know, I actually did a year of research working with morbidly obese patients and saw, unfortunately, a lot of fat shaming. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. sometimes even from within the medical community. And that's wrong either way. But I think that the real issue or problem with this video is that it implies there's just one reason yeah. for obesity right. and we know that that is not true part of it is behavior but part of it is genetic hormonal metabolic I mean the list goes on and on so I think it's not just about eating french fries yeah right but yeah. with just a few seconds left the mom shoveling the french fries and you know my mom didn't do that but she did let me have french fries now and yeah. then and isn't moderation okay well I mean, that's the key and I think as parents we just all try to do the best we can we do have to lead by example but we also have to remember that habits start young and again mm -hmm. things in moderation sure. I have Given a French fry to both of my children, yeah. I yes. admit, of course. we all have. Of course. Yeah. All right, just, we're just going to say it right here. <laughs> Dr. Um, Fur. Yes. Dr. Fur Dr. Ashton. Dr. Fur, Jennifer Ashton. Ashton. <laughs> you can understand how that happened. Um, great advice. Thank you so much. You and hey, we asked you, are parents to blame if their children are obese? 81% said they are. 19% said no, not mm. so. That's interesting.